Finally, to all Mobat fans, Wumbi, Mobat's wife, has agreed to do a DNA test. After almost a year of constant bashing, I say almost a year, more than a year of constant bashing, she has finally agreed to do a DNA test. Finally, finally, finally. And I hope this is not a fake news because I just heard it from the internet that a court has ordered her to do a DNA test. This is not the first time court has ordered me to do a DNA test. But however, somehow, somehow, some people in high places are trying as much as possible to make sure Wumi doesn't do a DNA test because Wumi herself doesn't want to do a DNA test. So I hope this time eh, she's going to do a DNA test and the DNA test will be supervised by the court. Mobad father will be involved, everybody will be involved, and they will be looking to see how the DNA test will go. Please, we know why he has said this DNA test, Glincho. We know why he has said DNA test, come and and the result be say, ah, they cannot really determine if Mobad is the father or Mobad is not the father. They are, they are, their determination is based on 50-50. We know why he that kind of DNA test. Please. Because we know exactly what we saw with the autopsy report. Autopsy report couldn't determine what led, led to Mobad's death. Autopsy report glitch. Autopsy report malfunction for the very first time in human history. Mobad case. <laughs> autopsy report couldn't determine what led to, to Mobad's death. Can you imagine, guys? That's one of the most craziest things in Nigeria. Octopus report for the very first time in ages failed to determine what led to someone's death in Nigeria. Well, we already are hoping that this DNA, uh, DNA test will not show same results. So, in order for us to even believe that DNA test affair, Mobad father must correspond with that DNA test. Mobad father must say, yes, indeed, he is satisfied with the DNA test. Because if a DNA test comes out and Mobad father is not satisfied with the DNA test, Nigeria will not stay believe woman. Nigeria will not stay believe, believe woman. And you know, Mobad mother. That one, she, des she, she deserves exactly what she's, she, what she's getting now. You know, she had issue with Wumbi. Say, Wumbi, go Mobad, that's go park property without letting her know. So all that one, I don't come up for each other, buddy. So it just, you know, the matter is they confusing, guys. Is they confusing. We are still open. We are still open, you understand? In as much as possible, a lot of Nigerians are already tired of the whole matter. So Nigerians are still hoping that... Uh, that justice will be served. But even if justice is served, nah, Nigeria will not feel it. Because justice that Nigerians are hoping for is not what they will get. Let's be honest. Nobody say justice we will get. It won't mean what they hope for. Things, things, things will still happen. And after this whole news, the other day, Naramali quickly decided to write some stuff on his uh, Instagram page. According to him, he said, I didn't eat Egbe, so I can't die, Egbe. Don't leave God, though. If you still follow all these small and mid gods, your own don't finish. I don't talk my I don't talk my own. If you like, say na amobo, they talk. Ali do the lie always. Allah Akbar. Allah is the greatest. They try their best and they fade miserably. So this uh, ta tactic way of talking by Naramali, you need to be clear. Let us know exactly what you mean with your prayers and uh, the gods and the God and gods, gods, gods. You know, let us know exactly what you mean. Are you indirectly talking to Wumi? Or you have another person in your agenda that you want to go after? So 
What do you mean, Aramali? Who are you talking to? Who are you talking to, Ngara? Let us know who you are talking to. Ah, now, wow. Naramali and, uh, and Zinulisi, the whole Malian record, the whole Malian record hasn't been able to live past Mubat's story. Up to today. Up to today. They, they are trying, though. They are trying, keep dropping some, but no shows are coming. No concerts are coming. Nothing is coming. The money is not increasing. Although old money they owe, but the new money is not increasing for them. Let's be honest. The new money is not increasing for them. Apparently, Zinoliski already sold his Ferrari. Zinoliski already sold his Ferrari. <laughs> That's the news. Zinoliski sold his Ferrari. So... Things are really getting harder for them. But they are trying. They are trying to come up. Fans still love them a lot. Too. You know, social media criticism, criticism is different from real life. It's different from real life. But I don't know why the Malians uh, are kind of like relaxed about the whole matter. Hmm? They are relaxed about coming up. Because they should add more effort. Just maybe, just maybe people will... Appreciate them and they get back to being among the uh, the top record label and uh, having the some of the best artists because time you no know, the way to new new sounds are coming out new new people are coming out they can't see sounds can't wait for you music cannot wait for you guys you should not like you should not lose God for the next one year you should not drop anything nobody will listen to that people are lose guarding too much lose guarding too much. But meanwhile, let's talk about Davido. According to this, uh, to this uh, comedian, Nasty, Nasty Black, he said, the disrespect Davido is getting is way too much. Man just want to help people, and that's all. The disrespect that Davido is getting is way too much. And David Doe just want to help people, and that's all. Well, who is David Doe getting disrespect from now? Hmm? Can we know who they disrespect David Doe again? Hmm? Who is disrespecting David Doe again? Who is disrespecting David Doe again? I think when it comes to Nigeria artists uh, living in Nigeria, David Doe is one of is the most sorted out artist in Nigeria. Sorted out artist in Nigeria. Well respected in Nigeria. We are again David Doe, they enjoy respect. Let's be honest, if not for Ni from Nigeria. Do you see the function they invite this guy on a daily basis whenever it's in Nigeria? So many functions, youth function and the rest. Eh? Don't you see it, guys? So many youth functions and the rest. Hmm? May they invite this guy. May they invite this guy. So I don't see much of the disrespect, though. You know, fans will talk. Fans will cash crews based on fans. But the disrespect, I don't see it. Um, first of all, I want to say thank you to the organizers, Noella Foundation, for inviting me. Um, Mrs. Layout Tinubu and my brother Shei Tinubu, and every other people, persons that are here. I thank you guys for coming. Um, I relate, I relate a lot to this topic, uh, life after school, because you know. Uh, I'm living proof uh, of a successful person after school. So I feel like, um, let me share my own experience. You know, but obviously I went into, I went into the entertainment world, you know what I'm saying, after school. You know, but I do have friends, you know, I have siblings, I have my father that has a company, 
you know, we also have a school, Adeliki University, you know, I'm saying that, you know, students graduate from, and um, we also have companies that we also, you know, uh, recruit students after school. Um, you know, school, during school, you know, I did school for about five years because I had to take a break because of my music and stuff. But, you know, people go to school for four years, six years. If you do law, it's longer than that. You know what I'm saying? Then you have another life again after school. That's really when, you know, life really starts. You know, um, I've been blessed to have been, have been following my dream. You know, so I come from a family where it's, you go to school, after you go to school, you go directly to work, you know. Either you go and work for my dad or you go and work, find work elsewhere. So that was really the template. So I was the one that, you know, went, you know, another route, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, for my siblings, you know, I've seen how their life have been, you know, after school. Um, some, some it comes quick, some the success comes quick, some it takes time. Some people open their own businesses, you know, some people go to work from people and then, um, you know, climb their way up there. Um, I personally didn't do CV after school. <laughs> but, you know what I'm saying? But I've seen, you know, I've seen my brother works actually in a department in our company where he recruits students. Most of them even come from the university. And I've seen how people, you know, you know, detailed CVs, even, even in my company as well. We have a management uh, section in my label, which we have people that, you know, do admin in school, management, stuff like that, business management which is what I studied as a minor in school. So, you know, um,